the Walkman, the floppy disk, the dot matrix printer, and the VHS, the video home system. These are some of the inventions of the 1970s that have become obsolete with the passage of time and the progress of technology. But there are some designs of the disco era that we can't imagine living without. Email, the first video game, cell phones, and one thing that doesn't get a lot of credit but has revolutionized shopping, the barcode. On June 26, 1974, a pack of juicy fruit gum made history when it was the first item to ever be scanned via a state-of-the-art technology, the barcode. And now, more than 40 years later, 5 billion barcodes are scanned every day across the world. The code itself, you know, those black lines of varying width on the label, was inspired by Morse code. But the Holy Smokes component of the innovation was how it was scanned, by lasers. Lasers had been the stuff of nerd fantasies until the early 1960s, when the Hughes Aircraft Company unveiled the first one at a press conference. A Los Angeles newspaper reported the story underneath the headline, L.A. Man Discovers Science Fiction Death Ray. But the fact of the matter is, no one knew what to do with that new technology until that June morning in 1974 when a pack of juicy fruit gum in Ohio changed the world. Today, barcodes are the unsung heroes that make everything, from shipping to boarding an airplane to keeping track of medication possible. But the biggest beneficiary is retail. Think about a grocery store from yesteryear. Every individual item had to be marked with its price, and the cashier had to manually input it into the register. So thanks to the barcode, you're waiting in the checkout line a whole lot less. And the stores themselves have benefited big time. The barcodes allowed them to keep accurate, real-time inventory. That's a major advance in efficiency, even if it costs some grocery staff their jobs. 